Alrighty, it's Sunday, February 26th, and it's 5.30 in the morning. It is time for Comets X. Well, I'm still on a burnout weekend, which basically means uh, I've been sleeping uh, a large chunk of the weekend since Friday. So I've been kind of missing things that are going on on YouTube. Sort of missing things that uh, I see them in spurts and chunks because uh, I never sleep straight through uh, anyway, so I'm always up and down. And so when I'm up for a brief period, uh, my computers are always on, so I just sort of sit at the one uh, with YouTube up more often than not and flip through the channels. Usually I'm having something a little something to throw there that, that I guess you would call it a midnight stack. After uh, sleeping for a few hours, I feel a might peckish and uh, I must get up and uh, fill the request for food uh, from my body. And uh, did this uh, earlier. You can't exactly remember what time I did this. And as I was sort of flipping around, I was uh, looking at Morgan's uh, Speaks page and noticed, uh, not Morgan, me, it's Megan Speaks. Sorry. I don't know why I got to mix that with more. I got to mix that with Morgan Page Love. And even though I was reading Megan, Morgan sort of popped in there. And there was a, she was, I was uh, a bit of a spat with uh, another group, another YouTube channel. I saw this. <laughs> I suppose this could happen. It does happen. I saw this. Uh, that was sort of one of the um, themes of iCarly, when um, they were having a, uh, the spat with uh, Fred. Uh, known as Lu Lucas Crushing. This is when he sort of his channel be sort of blew up and uh, became really popular because uh, of the iCarly crew. Well, not really because of iCarly, but, uh, but I think I think being on on iCarly sort of certainly helped his uh, uh, <laughs> reputation go, go beyond what it was. He's sort of gone viral, and uh, anyways. Uh, the the hater comment uh, the, 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 she was talking about the haters and the, the hater comments are are, are kind of are, 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 are usual and <laughs> it's not that I've, I've I've heard them before I've heard them from from people who you know when they start swearing at least swearing at uh, the swearing is the wrong term. Swearing is uh, is related to oaths and stuff like that. Pro that's the proper use of the term swear. You know, I ain't swearing, uh, you know, so on and so forth. That's swearing. Uh, this isn't cursing because cursing, uh, it, again, is is not re well, not really oath, but it's related to uh, religion. It's more of, uh, for mysticism, uh, occult and pagan uh, stuff. And the, well, we're left with uh, either descriptive language where someone is trying to overly, overly to be, you know, very descriptive about something, or just simply ranting rabble. So this wasn't, the, from what I was reading on her page, uh, in the comments and everything like that, uh, most of the stuff really didn't make any sense that they were saying. So I just call this stuff ranting rabble rather than uh, give it the term descriptive language. Uh, and they really didn't have anything to say. There was there wasn't uh, the people who who were her haters really didn't have much of anything to say, and, and the 
comments were, were, were more ranting rabble than anything else, and <laughs> and apparently they've gotten their all their uh, YouTube channel fans to go on and do the exact same thing uh, and start flagging videos that they didn't like. Well, this is where YouTube has sort of uh, gone off the rails of one of the issues that were was sort of behind SOPA and Protect IP was this whole concept that people can go around uh, telling people what they can and can't say on YouTube because some might find it offensive. We uh, didn't need Protect IP to do this because a lot of society today in the United States and, and, and globally have got on, gotten on this sort of politically correct politically correct bandwagon and it's it is as bad as it is in YouTube it's even worse in Facebook uh, I mean Facebook is re is 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 regularly turning over people and unmasking sites if you if you're let's say let's say you're a rebel right and you want to say something bad up against the government and the guy that wants to find out who you are, and this is this is this is, this is a dictator. This happened. In, this happened in Bangladesh, where they arrested somebody because it's Facebook, because this guy wrote something offensive against the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the leaders. This guy, the guy who wrote this, is now in jail because of Facebook. Face, Facebook ratted this guy out. I mean. Where is Facebook's sense of democracy? Where is YouTube's sense of democracy? Where is the, where is this, you know these people who are uh, doing these rants and rabbles, you know these ranting rabbles? Uh, where is their sense of democracy? The sense of free speech? I mean, th th it's not that sh that they're attacking uh, me. It's just that the uh, uh, the whole issue here is is you know when you flag a video get it taken down, do you realize that you're being a fascist? Uh, how can you, how dare you call me a fascist? Well, what do you think a fascist does? You know, what do you think Hitler did? What do you think uh, the King of England did to anyone who spoke against them? Well, you know, what do you, you know, this is where free speech came from. Free speech was designed specifically to protect those whose speeches could be termed offensive and uh, they can be reported in, in you know reported to by uh, uh, on the authorities reported to the authorities and arrested I mean this is what's happening and this thing that happened in Bangladesh was recent it was just about a week to two weeks ago that uh, some guy got arrested for this this is what happened on Twitter Twitter the the two English the two uh, two English uh, teens or I guess late teens if you want to call them uh, we're on their way over to uh, from England to uh, the United States. They were going to have some fun. They were tweeting and using some quotes from American Dad and Family Guy. Well, they weren't appropriate. And uh, DNS, uh, the uh, oh, oh, yeah, I think it's Department of Homeland Security. Well, I don't know. Yeah, Department of Homeland Security came down, picked them up, and uh, promptly arrested them at the airport <laughs> for being un-American. <laughs> Do you know how stupid that sounds? Arresting someone for being an American <laughs> for something they said? I mean, that's that. That I mean, right there, these people who do stuff like these people at, at Homeland Security who in the border who arrested these people like that—they're burning the flag. This is when you when you censor somebody when you use these flagging tools. On whatever it is, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be on Megan's page. It just any time you use it, including YouTube uh, or Facebook or whatever, you're burning the flag. If you're an American and you censor somebody, you violate the America's uh, the, the American not civil liberties, not liberties that that, that oh we could you know that that, that are uh, there just sort of floating there. These are American rights. This, this, this is this is Americanism. 
this is the United States. That's what the flag is about. And when you trample on these, when you burn these, you're burning the flag. And you're a flag burner. You're, you're, you're a fascist. You're a traitor. No simple, there's, these simply meet definition. This, you know, when your actions meet these definitions, this is who you are. And if you don't want to be these people, or you're finding you're that you're offended by this, well, simple. Don't burn the flag. Right? Don't set this on. Don't click that little flag button on it that YouTube puts out there. I mean, I mean the 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 the, the, the latest bit of censorship that I've seen in Facebook, uh, and it is a thing. You know, protect IP and SOPA was sort of just the icing on the cake. There's actually a lot more already out there that's going on. Uh, with Facebook and YouTube, uh, but I haven't seen this in uh, face, YouTube. Only has the Digital Copyright Act part, where it, it will block and take down videos that the people report or violate the copyright, even though the First Amendment clearly states that uh, Congress should create no law abridging the right of freedom, the freedom of speech, and the freedom of the press. So. I don't know how much I don't know how much clearer the the the, uh, the First Amendment could have been, you know. Congress will create no law abridging the rights to freedom of speech. Does this need interpretation? <laughs> is you know are they, is this the the, the the Clinton excuse? Well, it depends on what the definition of is is. I mean, is, is this is this how how? Moronic, the lawyers at the uh, YouTube are going to be. I mean, we already know that Facebook is got uh, and Mark Zuckerberg if 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 fully given over into fascism. Uh, it, the 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 lengths they go to to expose and squelch free speech is enormous. Uh, and they've openly admitted that that they only want the speech on there that they approve of. Wikipedia has done the exact same thing. Wikipedia uh, has sort of, uh, in its own way, fashioned itself to a point where, yeah, it's open and stuff like that, but it will only accept information in the way that it wants the information posted. It's not open to all information. You can only put certain information on there. Information it considers to be inappropriate or wrong-headed. Yeah, let's say wrong-headed. It's not in the right thinking mode. Uh, it is omitted and taken out of Facebook. Even though it may be factually correct. So let's say you have something that's factually incorrect or historically incorrect. Uh, that would be included if it's done the right way and said the right way. But something that's factually correct and historically correct will be omitted because it's, it's not simply not stated in the way or done the way that fi that Wikipedia likes. So this is where you got to be careful with Wikipedia is that not all of their information is correct because it's got a political angle to grind. You know, it's got a political position behind it. So, but. This is sort of where things are. Uh, so that's sort of, sort of just sort of popped up and noticed us. Uh, I know that uh, Ellie and uh, and Sonia upgraded, uh, uh, updated, not up, upgraded, updated, uh, updated, uploaded, uploaded uh, two videos on Saturday. Yes, well, y yeah, it was yes yeah, yesterday. Uh, the days are morphing into one, so I'm forgetting what my days were again. Uh, so yesterday, they uploaded two videos I was able to see. Uh, in an ode to Zoe, because uh, Zoe's been the one who's been the most faithful out of out of everybody. Uh, Zoe's been the most faithful in terms of getting her videos up. Although, I gotta say that uh, uh, Sonia... And Ellie have got, have done a really good job keeping their video uh, keeping their videos up. Ellie was sick, and then uh, couldn't do a couple of videos. 
because uh, sometimes you do get s these these flus now are lasting longer, and Sonia was having problem was having technical issues that she wasn't able to solve, and actually it's just now solved. It were just her last two videos, actually, uh, we sort of seem to solve the problem. So uh, that's a, a, a sort of realistic use. Bethan is 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 coming back now again. Uh, she's putting up more videos, although. Uh, I think out of all of them, she, uh, she's sort of, not at least, but the thing is the, uh, there's supposed to be a Lindsay in there, but Lindsay, uh, I've never seen her stuff, so I really don't know who, who she is, because she's never see, really seen to po uh, post, uh, to upload anything to uh, the right and proper ladies. But all of them, they have, the, you know, they put together an interesting channel, and... Actually, because because I I sort of use uh, uh, comments and stuff like this, and even the site, the uh, there's that uh, list of suggestions on the side. Uh, I was able to find some of the people who uh, rejected from uh, right improperly. There's this one girl in um, Australia who was a, uh, was a, uh, rejected by uh, right improperly, and she does a daily vlog that's kind of interesting too. So. Uh, I went by and saw her channel as, well, as I was sort of flipping around. I still really like, I don't know what it is, I still really like the room tours. Room tours seem to be one of my favorite. If I find a room tour, then I'll go on it and sort of just, uh, and, you know, I'll watch it. You know, it's a, I'll, I'll watch a room tour more often than not. And even if it's sort of a girly Barbie type of thing, and it's, it's, you know, it's, there are a number of uh, beauty channels out there on YouTube where you go and you see uh, the girly rooms and stuff like that. They're kind, they're kind, they're kind of interesting. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave this uh, as it is today, and uh, I will s for now. Should I for today, for for now, today's today's comments X. Uh, and I will see you maybe later on today uh, as uh, the day sort of progresses. Uh, this is not letting me uh, scroll down to uh, turn this off. Let's see what's going on here now. Oh, this is frozen. Uh, technical issues.